Welcome to the State Court of Cobb County. You have been chosen to serve as a juror, which is a very important civic responsibility. You were selected at random from Cobb County residents who have a driver's license or who are registered to vote. The State Court of Cobb County was established in 1965. Prior to that time, all trials by jury were held in the Cobb Superior Court, but eventually the volume of cases became too large. As a result, the Civil and Criminal Court of Cobb County, later renamed the State Court of Cobb County, was created to try misdemeanor and certain civil cases, while the Superior Court continues to hear felony and divorce cases. The State Court's 12 elected judges clear over 54,000 cases each year. This makes our court one of the largest volume courts in Georgia, with one of the highest caseloads per judge in the state. At check-in, you received a juror badge. It's important that you wear this badge for identity purposes at all times while in the court building and on the judicial campus. You will receive a new disposable badge each day that you report for jury service. State court jurors should park in a designated jury lot as based on instruction provided by jury administration. If you are directed to a parking deck, you will receive a ticket that can be validated at juror check-in. This will allow you to exit the deck without cost. For information on jury parking lots and addresses of those lots, please visit our website at cobbcounty.org slash state court jury. We want you to know what to expect during your jury service, the guidelines you'll need to follow, the types of cases you will hear, the valuable role you'll have during the course of a trial, and how you'll be compensated for your time here. Before hearing a trial, you will be sworn in by the presiding judge. You have been assigned a pool group number, which is located on your jury summons. You will need to note your pool group number, as you will need it to determine if you need to report the following day. Each evening after 6 p.m., it's required that you call 770-528-2626 or visit cobbcounty.org slash state court jury to find out if your pool group is scheduled to report the following day. You will continue to report for service until you're notified you are dismissed. The jury on-call number and the website is located on your jury summons. Once a panel is chosen to go to a courtroom, a bailiff will escort those jurors to that courtroom and seat them in the jury box. Lawyers will question you to determine if you're best suited for their case. This court uses a six-person jury in criminal misdemeanor cases and either a six or 12-person jury in civil cases. We know you're concerned with how long you'll have to serve. Each case is unique. That makes it difficult to determine exactly how long you'll be needed. Also, you should know that you may serve on more than one jury and hear more than one case. When you are in the courtroom, please understand you cannot smoke, read, eat, or drink anything other than water unless you have a special medical need, in which case you should inform the jury administrator. All electronic devices must be turned off inside the courtroom. At various times, the judge will declare a recess for a rest break, lunch, or overnight. The most prominent member of the courtroom is the judge. The judge sits on the bench and presides over the entire trial process. The state court has 12 judges. You can learn more about each judge by accessing the Cobb County State Court Administration website. Once you are assigned to a courtroom, you will remain with that judge throughout the trial. Should you serve on another case, you may be assigned to another courtroom with a different judge. The court clerk sits in front of the judge. As the official record keeper for the case, the clerk is responsible for maintaining all documents and physical evidence. Testimony taken during the trial is documented by the court reporter, who will transcribe the proceedings after the trial if requested to do so. Witnesses will sit next to the judge when giving their testimony and may be called several times during a trial. The plaintiff and defendant, or the parties involved in the case, sit at the two tables in front of the gallery with their attorneys. Now that you are acquainted with the people in the courtroom, let's explore how a case might proceed. After you are selected as a juror, one of the first things the judge will do is provide you with general court procedure instructions. The attorneys for each party will present an opening statement or provide a general outline of the facts they feel are important to their case. After opening statements, witnesses for both sides will provide testimony and present evidence. During the trial, there may be times when a judge needs to make a ruling outside of the presence of the jury. You will be excused at those times. Once both sides finish presenting their case and closing arguments, the judge will then charge the jury, which means the judge will explain the various laws that will guide deliberation. 
You will then be escorted by a bailiff to the jury deliberation room to reach a decision concerning the case. If it's considered appropriate, certain documents and physical evidence may go with you into the jury room. When you reach a decision, you will return to the courtroom where your verdict is read and published in open court. The judge then will either dismiss you or instruct you to return to the assembly area as designated by the presiding judge, in which case you may serve on another trial. At the end of your service, you will receive a check and verification of attendance showing that you served on jury duty. The court will pay you $35 per day for every day you're physically in the building. You will receive this compensation at the end of your duty. Wi-Fi is available for your use as you wait for possible assignment to a courtroom. The wireless connection is called Cobb Hotspot. You will see posters in the jury assembly room titled Juror Responsibilities Regarding the Internet and Social Media. It is important that you know your responsibilities to ensure fairness to the parties in each case. Let's review those responsibilities. Do not research the case online in any way, including searching for information about the attorneys or the judge. Do not communicate anything about the case via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or any online messaging service. Follow instructions by the judge or other court personnel. Immediately report unauthorized use of the internet or social media to the judge or authorized court personnel. Now that you've been acquainted with the people and processes of the State Court of Cobb County, we hope you'll feel more informed about the juror process. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask one of the court staff members. Thank you for fulfilling this important civic duty in our judicial process, a process which keeps our community safe and thriving.